some more fuckers. I just wanted to, um, to show off this little uh, project I've been working on. So I'm about to like, use this project for the command line tutorial. And it's already on GitHub. Let me show you guys. Let's see. So here's GitHub. And then I'll go to, uh, it's called Golden Boy. Okay. And boom has all the code right here so it's already right here so I'll probably post a link in the description of this video but this might be where I'm do, gonna do like a lot of like uh, small projects on the side so that way I have somewhere to start from this took a whole mo fucking day to make I did not mean to make it take that long I'm using assets from Kenny which uh, he's freaking awesome so support him if you can I'm almost thinking about supporting him too I made this crosshair but um yeah, it's way too big and that's why it looks kind of shitty. I just made it like really fast. Okay, and here's like the main test level. So it's like the little main scene. I made like a map in Kado, well, uh, in Trench Broom, and then I import it with Kado. And uh, Kado is freaking awesome. That's made by Shifty and he's amazing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I just have like the whole scene just kind of hastily built right here. Got your player script. It has to be the first one in the scene tree because uh, everything grabs it, it grabs the reference of the player. I don't know if that's the best way to do things, but that's how I did things for this project. And um, I really like it actually because then you could just grab it from one place. And yeah, and this is the level. I'll just show you how the gameplay looks. So as you can see right here, we have a, a bunch of like gold pieces. And these aliens come at you and they try to steal your motherfucking gold. And you gotta cap their asses. So let's look. Bam, boom, boom. Mm, kill the ass. Okay. And yeah, and every time like uh, you pick up gold, a little timer pops up for 30 seconds. And that comes back. So this is like meant to be like kind of a sandboxy type of thing. Where you could just keep kind of like going along. So as you see, look, I'll let him drain my gold. He, There's no death state or anything. So it just goes to zero. But uh, yeah, but he's trying to drain my motherfucking gold, and that, like if if your gold does drain, you can't shoot anymore. But yeah, that means you're just broke. You're broke as a joke. But yeah, and when you shoot them, they jump up in the air, and if they're in the air, you do four times as much damage. So yeah, just some, some basic mechanics, not nothing too crazy, but it did take a good bit to make, just because I, I was like I don't usually work with like three D models. I know it sounds weird, I work in a lot of 3D, but I usually use sprites. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't recommend using sprites, I'd say work with, start off with 3D models, it's easier. Okay, um, so yeah, here's like the enemy script. It has like some gra some basic, um, uh, constants right here. It has some enums, some states, so like action states, move states. So idle, chase, still, walking, running. And, uh, yeah, once again, this is sort of hastily built together, but it's actually not that bad. It's still pretty clean, actually. Um, still cleaner than the code I wrote, like, two years ago or something. Okay. But, yeah, we got, like, some, uh, some exports and some variables, basically. And, um, yeah, and there's some, like, there's an idle timer and a check player timer. Because, like, uh, we don't want to check the player, like, literally every frame. We only want to check it, like, maybe... We don't have to check it that much. We can only want to check it maybe a tenth of a second. Which isn't, like... It sounds like it's a lot, but it's not too crazy. Um, yeah. And right here... So, yeah. We just, uh... We just do, like, a idle move. Basically, on a timer when, it, when it's in the idle state. Or else we'll just, uh... We'll check for the player... We'll always check for a player, and then we'll chase after the player if the thing sees him. And yeah. So yeah, that's only if it could, um, if it finds it. And yeah, just like stuff like that. So there's probably some like issues with the enemy, but I don't know. That's not the point of this tutorial that's coming up. I just made it just to where it's good enough. And this is gold. It just like um. It gives like a certain amount of gold by default, it's 5,000, but I made 500 for them. It just fits with the level better. And uh, yeah, and uh, we, we just like make it kind of like float uh, up and down in the air. So I just have a time that increases by delta. 
and then I rotate oh, I rotate by delta 2 and then like uh, I just increase it by time and yeah so right here we have our body and we just like uh, basically once it enters in it will like increase the player's health so it'll do negative damage I know it's a little hacky but it's probably better if you say like some type of like give gold or something but yeah and right here we got our pistol pickup which is what you see in the beginning right here I'll just show you so right when you go up to it it just gives you a pistol and you can shoot with it but yeah all it does is just enable the pistol in the player class but yeah but uh, when it's not there it just float it just floats in the air and it just rotates okay so the heads up display is this right here it's really really hastily put together it's not it doesn't resize itself based on resolution yeah and it's added to the H heads up display and we have a player gun right here so basically the player gun can be enabled and when it's disabled then it won't be visible and you can't shoot so uh, yeah so it's always active it's always like there in the player script but uh, once you pick up the gun it'll just like, enable it uh, if there's only gonna be one gun in the game I'm not gonna go too crazy with this shit and yeah and we got our player script. This is just like, I just kind of reuse the ones from the last video. So if you have the player script for the last videos, that's it. But uh, the only thing I add is some damage and gold. That's about it. And let's go. I already went over the player gun. Here's a player gun projectile. It just basically gets, um, it get, uh, it uh, rotates the bullet a lot, like uh, based on where the player is aiming. And then, and then, um, and then it uh, gives it a direction based on that, the transform dot basis. Uh, it, should probably, it should probably be global transform dot. I don't know. It still works. And uh, right here we got um, we got our velocity. And yeah, it's probably better to do global transform. Let's see how. Let's see if it still works after. May might be better to do transform. Yeah, it's a little off from the crosshair, but who gives a shit? This is just a tutorial. Okay. And right here, we just do a velocity based on that direction. And yeah, it's a very simple script. So yeah, some very simple stuff just put together. I was having some fun with it. And like I made like a little enemy spawner. All it has is just a spawn timer that goes on for a certain amount of time. And then we, uh, yeah, it just loads that enemy and spawns it. And... Yeah, and this is all the Kado stuff in here, basically. So if you want to see a map, it's right here. And just like everything's in there. And boom, we got our uh, event bus. It just has one signal. And the uh, global thing, it just has a bunch of refs. So the stuff that we want to pass through that like everything needs to know. So like a lot of stuff would want to know the player. A lot of stuff would want to know the camera. But if you have something that's like want, you want to be more private, then you could actually like uh, barricade these with functions but yeah that's a nice way to do it I actually really like doing these set gets methods I, got, I learned it from pig dev I think that's his name but he's awesome but yeah so uh, next time I'm gonna go into the command line script and we're gonna have some fun with that mm. I just wanted to make this video so you guys know I'm not dead alright peace